everybody, it's Review Wednesday. <laughs> Today, I want to talk about my Gym Boss Interval Timer. I purchased this back when I was recovering from a knee injury and I wanted to ease back into marathon training and interval running was my ticket. And I've continued to use it for several reasons. One, it helps decrease the chances of injuring yourself because when you walk, you use different muscles than when you run. So during your walk breaks, you're giving those running muscles time to rest and recover. Also because of that, when you finish your race, you're going to feel more refreshed and stronger. I also like it because it breaks up those long distances into manageable units. So I do my intervals at four to one. That means I run four minutes and then I walk one minute. And I know that at that end of the walk break, I've done half a mile. Two walk breaks, I've done a mile. So it really helps me break up those really long distances. And also, while you're walking, that gives you the opportunity to fuel yourself because it's much easier to drink an energy drink or take a GU gel or a chew. It's easier to do that when you're walking than bouncing around running. Now, I purchased the classic Gym Boss and I bought this on Amazon for about $16 and I will leave a link in the description below so if you are interested in purchasing one you can get one as well. It works great with the Jeff Galloway run walk run method that you can find on the Run Disney website and I'm currently using that for my training in the Dopey Challenge for January 2020. Some may say that well I'm going to go slower if I do a run and walk Actually, no, my pace has not been affected at all because I am so rested during that one minute of walking that I actually run a little faster during the four minutes of running that I do. So let's get into the nitty gritty. Now this handy dandy little thing works on one AAA battery. Now that's not included, so you're gonna need to go purchase that. Easily goes into that compartment right there. Click. Also, if you want to zoom in close, it comes with a clip that you just need to push that and the clip comes out. What's nice about the clip, if you forget how to use your Gym Boss, there's instructions right on the clip. And then that just goes right back there. So that's pretty easy. Now, you can set your Gym Boss. Let me turn it off so I can show you how to turn it on. Okay, to turn it on, you just press the middle button and to set it you see the top is your running interval the bottom is your walking you can set the intervals to repeat between 1 and 99 times and that resets each time that you start your gym boss timer for the alarm you can set it for a loud beep a soft beep or just on vibrate or a loud with vibrate and a soft with a vibrate. The choices are endless, let me tell you. It also allows you to set two programs. So I have one set at four to one and one set at a three to one interval if I'm feeling kind of frisky and want to go faster. Then when you want to start it, you just hit the side button that says start. <laughs> and your top number, your running number, starts to decrease. If at any time that you want to stop it or pause it, you just hold the start button for three seconds and it pauses it and resets it. And finally, there is also a reboot button on the side. So if you need to, if it locks up, you can put in a pen or a small paper clip and and it resets your gym boss. Now I've had this for two years now and I've never had to use that reset button. Thanks for watching and I will see you next Wednesday for another review.